Today, uranium is a little bit lower. We're actually going to talk about the uranium stocks, the overall market. The Dow is now under 30,000. I'm going to look back at some other charts that I posted back in February. We're going to compare those. We're also going to talk about some positive things, hopefully, to raise the morale for uranium. A lot of people have been hit pretty hard with what the market's been doing. And I'm going to show you what the overall market, the NASDAQ and the Dow, some of the top stocks, how low they are and how well uranium is still doing. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. The overall market, the NASDAQ was down over four and a half percent at one point today. And you can see this, this is every stock in the market. Every stock is pretty much red. The NASDAQ, this is what the overall picture looks like. Okay, we peaked here not too long ago and boom, look at the drop. And, you know, everything else just looks very small in comparison. You saw that picture. You saw what this was. Now, this was a, a video I posted back in February. And this was about, you know, uranium stocks. Are we going to break out the uranium price? We had things going on. I really thought the war was going to happen. And it did. Now, the market overall, the, the Dow was, you know, at its peak around that time. I said, you know, is uranium going to break 55? Obviously, we've seen what the market's done, you know, in the last four or five months, and it's dropped. So if you see the chart here, we jump over. Look at this. This is the exact same thing. Now, this chart that I was comparing was Japan in about 1990, 1989. They had their peak. And, you know, this took 30 plus years for it to ever reach that 1990 you know, even the drop, this right here, it took them, you know, 30, 30 plus years to, to reach that again. Now, that's what my whole thesis was saying is the overall market, is this an everything bubble? Is inflation going to get high? And yes, it has. And we can see, we compare these charts here. We were at this peak and boom, it's dropped. We're under 29,000 now. That's where we're at, 29,000. And the NASDAQ's been hit even harder as you saw right here, look at this crazy drop. I mean, it just dwarfs everything. We're, we're maybe in the first you know couple months. So do we have a lot longer to go? It's very possible, you know, a lot longer bear market. This is, you know, probably just beginning. Now, I think energy stocks, we're gonna start to see those reach new highs. We're already seeing oil stocks and uranium stocks are doing pretty well. I'm gonna cover those in a second. Uh, the leaders especially now, you know, we see the NASDAQ. This is the NASDAQ stocks. These are some big stocks. Look at PayPal. And these stocks went to brand new highs. But we're seeing, you know, Meta, you know, Facebook Meta down 52%. This is just for the year. We can see even Amazon down here, 41%. The, the highest ones we're seeing usually are energy stocks, energy related utilities. Uh, Chevron, look at this, 45% for the year, year to date. And the lowest, look at Disney, Boeing. These are very big companies. Intel, you know, 40, 30 to 40%. This is people's 401ks. This is very, very sad, very dangerous. Now, you say, how do we get here? Well, obviously, inflation, money printing. It's that simple. Too much money supply out there, too much debt, too much printing. Now, we look at the GDP to the US to debt, and we are at our all time highest here now. And Japan is as well. This dot dotted line is going to be the U.S. And then you can see Japan, this little blue line here. You can see that we are way different than even in the 80s to 90s, J Japan. But their debt just continued to go up. Same thing with the U.S. I think that's one thing we got to keep an eye on. I think if we really do all this ESG stuff and trillions and trillions of dollars it costs, and we continue to battle inflation. Now, yesterday we had that rate hike, you know, and the markets went up and the next day immediately went down even more. So, you know, four and a half percent, we were down almost. The overall market is just looking very, very scary. We're still doing really good with uranium stocks. It's trading this pattern. Cameco, this is the leader, you know, the producer. We can see today, Cameco was down a lot. It actually closed about, what, about 5.5%. But the thing is, for the year, the stock is only down about 5% for the whole year, year to date. And you saw what some of the biggest stocks in the world, how much they are down. Yes, it's been very painful for a lot of investors because Cameco hit a 52-week high eight weeks ago. We had massive news, and the same thing happened for UEC. Look, 
The stock chart is identical. They're all leverage plays on the price of uranium. Uranium went up to an 11 year high. The stocks go up to an 11 year high. It's that simple. The leaders are going to lead. They have the most assets. They have more uranium on hand. UEC has 5 million pounds of spot uranium at $38. At $200 uranium, that's a billion dollars right there. The market cap today is like 900 and something million. It's not even a billion. They've got a bunch of cash. They did. They actually beat uh, their earnings. They got those uranium one assets and now they're looking for JCU assets and as well as the assets, the whole company, UEX. So there's a bunch of assets, 100 million pounds of uranium, and it's going to be very good for a company like this. And like I said, you can look at Cameco and it looks the exact same, which is uh, pretty interesting how closely related these are. And you know, what do you know today? UEC, it was the best performer out of pretty much everything. Uranium price ask and bid dropped a little bit. Some of these market caps dropped below a billion again. We're saying we saw Denison drop under a dollar today. Energy fuels 822 million and UEC around 940 million. So these are down 50 plus percent, 54 percent, 50 percent. And still Cameco and Sprott is leading the least down pretty much 34 percent, about 37. So uranium stocks have very big upside. If you see these charts, this is this is March 2020. This is their absolute lows. So we're still doing very good. You know, some of these explorers down here, not so much, especially some of the ones very speculative. The ones that are going to be doing really good are uranium stocks with uranium, with permits, with great management. And that's what we're seeing. That's this new round. That's what I really adapted to. There's a lot of positive stuff out there. Obviously, the United States has a way bigger GDP nowadays versus the 1970s that we're kind of comparing everything to. This stagflation, recession that we're going to go be going through. They think we're going through the bear market. But if you look back, there's a lot of things that the uranium market did. You know, in the 1970s, I've said this a bunch, uranium went from an all-time low to an all-time high. And with inflation, this is over like $200. So U.S. uranium renaissance, we have that now in the U.S. Happened around the same time in the 70s. The oil energy crisis, we had issues with Russia. 150 Chinese reactors, same thing back then. This renaissance with new nuclear reactors, they needed fuel. Uh, small modular reactors, $4.3 billion for U.S. enrichment. All of this stuff is very positive for uranium. And uranium is going to do good. 700 million pounds is going to be contracting again. We already saw about 2 million pounds yesterday being contracted with some developers. So it's it's really nice to see that's a lot of demand that's coming back into the market. We're going to see spot prices go up. We're going to see enrichment. Everything's going to be going up, not just because of inflation, but because of contracting. You can see here the big lines. We can see what spot did and then the long-term price did. Now, this is going to be a lot longer bull market, I think. And I've said this many times. We're starting to see utilities start to, their contracts, their coverage rates are actually going down very quickly, rapidly in the US. And then these European assets, a lot of these have already been contracting. So even, you know, in this percentage here, they're still contracting. So it is very bullish. One thing was Rick Rule. He did say that he wishes he had just stuck with uranium companies that he did the research, had great management teams, and he wouldn't he didn't trade as much. And he would he said he would have done a lot better and he would have had less stress and more free time. With me, I I do like to trade. I like to swing trade. I like to take profits. But I'm still in UEC and I do believe that this stock is going to perform outperform a lot of these other stocks out there because of the assets that they're getting, the way they're setting up to be a leading producer. They've got the permits, they're ready, ISR. We don't know what the price of uranium is going to end up at. When uranium breaks $200, it's going to be very interesting to see what the market caps of these companies are going to be. Some of the uranium stocks I traded in and out, I probably would have done better if I would have held them. So if you're a long-term you know, investor, it's going to be rough. You know, you see a lot of your gains go away, or if you bought near the top, you're down. But uranium prices, in my opinion, are going to be going up, and it is one of the safest places, I think, to be in an inflationary environment in the energy sector, especially like uranium. You see these 700 million pounds of contracting that are going to be coming back. It's going to be very positive, 
And right now you can see the NASDAQ, we've dropped a lot. So is there going to be some type of dead cap bounce? It's very possible we see a lot of dead cap bounces. Probably will help uranium, I think, get back to $70 eventually. 65 to 70, I think we break out of that. We could own yoke from the overall market. It's very possible with this debt going up that, you know, in, in the money printing, if we can't get inflation under control, uranium stocks are going to continue to go up. We see UEC and Cameco, they hit those 11 year highs. They're very similar in their charts. Every time pretty much they've gotten near this trend line, they've bounced off and they've seen really big runs. I'm on 100, 200% runs. You know, so very, very quickly, we can see uranium is very volatile. It has a massive upside. I think that the market right now is there, there's a little overselling, especially in energy stocks like uranium. They're a little oversold right now. It is very risky. I think a lot of the explorers, a lot of these explorers probably shouldn't have had the market caps yet that they had, even with higher uranium prices in this market environment do think that these uranium producers, especially the ones in the US, are going to see the big upside. When the market looks like this, Apple, Amazon are down four, five, six percent, Tesla down nine percent. A day for a uranium stock only down one percent, that's really good for me. Less sellers now, there's a lot of buyers starting to come back in, close to 12 million share volume. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm still making that uranium documentary and hopefully that will boost the morale. Hopefully this video boosts morale. You know, you remember the long-term thesis of uranium if you're an investor. If you're a trader, then you love this volatility. You love this crazy movements because, you know, you bounce here, you drop down 50 plus percent and then what's the upside? You know, the upside from here, if we bounce out and get up here, that's 150 percent, you know, easily. Uh, that's, you know, that's where I really do think that UEC could go, you know, breaking out into the seven, eight dollar range. Very, very easy for this stock. It's done it before just on news that hasn't even been confirmed yet. The 4.3 billion. I will be probably day trading and swing trading some more uranium stocks. So if you want to see what those are, link in the description below. I'm looking to establish long term positions as well. And I am also making that uranium documentary. So if you want to see Anything, all the data usually that I get for all that stuff, I put it in the Discord. So if you want access to that beforehand, link in the description below. Let everyone know why you think uranium is still a good investment or why you don't think it is. So in the comments below, that's what I want to see in this. Let me know below and until next time.